I've just woken up and look what I see. Nathan's van and a cherry picker. This is the moment I've been waiting for. It means that the log burners are about to be installed. So we might not freeze this winter. And it's Philip's birthday today. Heating and a birthday. Oh, I love this. Oh, who's that? My goodness, it's fantastic when there's so much going on in one go. Two cherry pickers. Does that seem like overkill? Getting up onto the chimneys, we need to, um, well, yeah, get the cherry picker up there. Yeah. And then in his van, uh, in the van that's up behind, uh, we've got a, what they call um, a debistrage to do in each chimney. So what it is, is this massive chain system that goes around inside each chimney to clean all the debris that's inside. So this is completely different from a normal chimney sweep? Uh, yeah, it's a big chain that's motorised and, and goes right down the chimney and cleans. Oh wow, I've never seen this people. before. And you have to do this before putting in a flue for a log burner, is that yeah, right? Yeah, uh, once the chimney's been used, like in olden days, one like one of these with yeah, many yeah. years ago, it's got lots of, um, lots of rubbish inside it that builds up and can yeah. cause fires. So yeah, we need to get rid of all that to be able to... Um, it's an exciting day. Okay, wow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Getting up there is going to be the first issue. Yeah, of it's course. Quite high. Yeah, that's why we have to get something like this. Especially <laughs> that one. I mean, yeah, that's that one's very high up. That, that one's one. incredibly yeah. high. And the old wing. The others aren't so bad. Much, much lower. Amory's come up to my study because this fireplace is too small for the log burner, which we did know about. Oh, really good. All of that green bit knocking out. This must have been added, do you think, for the drawer, Amory? Yeah. Um, so. It's not got any strength in the box, but, you know, it's not. As far as we know, we don't no, think no, it's got any strength. A, no, there's a metal bar just here. Okay. But that metal bar has been notched into the side so that you can actually build the, um, the um, gorbling okay. out. So that's all that's there for. That's definitely a later, later addition. So you think it'll come out all right? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. What's the worst that could happen? Entire collapse of the entire chimney? Well, I think there's, there's other things around the chateau that would be more concerned. <laughs> How does it feel? Yeah. You've got the glass Yeah. All we need to do is find, find a brick course. Yeah, between, between the two bricks. Yep. Yeah. You can remove the stuff from the mantelpiece just in case, but... And you're saying it's hand loose. Oh, oh! <laughs> that is a lot looser than we were expecting. Well, if you think about it, you've got fires going in there. Mm. The heat is cooking the mortar, so after time it, it expels all of the moisture and it just everything turns to dust. Well, it's lucky no one leaned against that in the last year or so. The plaster itself, that's what sort of keys everything together. Okay. Which gives you, so once you punch through that... Taking that, that out, everything yeah. else goes. Yeah. We're going to have to wow, do something. Wiggly. You're punching it off. And hurt yourself. Some pretty Maybe. dramatic punching oh, off of this. And do you know where the bricks are? In the stables, mate. Amory's managed to get the bricks out pretty easily. Now we are left with a bar. How to tackle that? I can see what you've done here, Philip. You've decided that because it's your birthday, it's autumn, because it is autumn's autumn. your favourite season. Yes. Autumn has commenced. It's nearly 30 degrees outside. Now, I, stay in. I know that's not often the case with your birthday. My birthday is usually still in summer, but I've decided it's autumn and it's all about what's up here. Well, it's your birthday. If you mm. want it to be autumn and you want to be swelteringly hot. It just hot, means I have to stay out of the sun. <laughs> like a vampire. Yes, but the leaves on the, on the ivy have decided it's autumn too, so. Have they? I'm seeing quite a lot of great. Oh, oh, oh hang yeah, on. Oh, yeah. oh. No, I know. I noticed yesterday, so that's Okay. Fine. Oh dear, yeah, I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. That's that's a Stephanie leaf. Oh, just so that's you know. That's a Philip leaf. Let's just talk about it again, that all of this ivy you put on, and it's the safe ivy. Yes. It's not the... Uh, this is the Boston, goes. Boston ivy. It doesn't go into the wall. That's so pretty. But look, if you look out here, it's all red. That's still green. Still trying look to that. persuade me it's look autumn. Look at on the old wing. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Look at that sky. What do you think of that? Autumn. <laughs> that is not an autumnal sky. <laughs> this is it's a very sunny autumn day. <laughs> I'm only wearing one layer. What? 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 Can you zoom in on the van? Zoom in on the van. It's got a hedgehog on it. You're joking. Is that... It was meant to be, fella. It was meant to be. Oh, it's worked. Oh, oh, is it? Actually, I don't think it's going to work. Oh, no. They were very worried. This is a 25 meter one. And it's got to try. Oh, hang on. I think it's got a little more give there. I can see there's more in that hydraulic arm. We're just not sure if it's going to reach that chimney or not. Okay, fingers crossed, everyone. It's looking pretty good now. Wow, he's pretty brave. Uh, we do have a cherry picker, but our cherry picker is absolutely minuscule compared to that one. There is no way it was going up there. That's the one you needed for the pergola. You're buying the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? What the bones, yeah. What's he going to do once he gets up there? I'm running down to see how they actually clear those chimneys. Hello! It's his birthday. Look, he's decided it's autumn. Mm. Which is bizarre because it's really, really, really warm I tried and sunny. to point that out. He tried to get he's me. A beanie on. I know. It's autumn. And you should have seen it's he not. picked something out for me to wear. There was you like a full on suit. I said, I would wear whatever you wanted. And then you gave me an autumnal suit. And I was like, absolutely not. It's like a scarf and things. No, no, it, was, it was really, really it warm. Very warm. Mm. Proper padded jacket with, you know, the shoulder pads. And you decided to disappoint him on his. Oh, uh, don't yes. you start! Thank you. <laughs> well, they've managed to get up there, but still going to get across to that chimney. Preparing for the scene of a crime. Okay. <laughs> Moving dirty. Rearranging the peacocks. white clothes. Happy birthday to you. Happy you birthday to you. <laughs> with the lions and tigers and the monkeys like you. <laughs> That's the nicest thing you said to me all week. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the murder room? Ma no, is it the marquee? Yeah, You've got one set up already. I'm going to have a look. Ah, oh, they're back down with that. I wonder if they managed to get into it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, he meant it. Oh wow. I thought it was just going to be a little bit of plastic on the floor. Whoa. Oh, polka dot one. Nice. <laughs> Is that a shower curtain? Yes. <laughs> Apparently, Sid is the worst thing for panelling, he said. It's all happening, oh my goodness. It's okay. Yeah. How are you doing? Why are you going on slide for I'm, gonna, I'm going to get a very nice cold drink. Are you a bit warm? No. No, no, no. Cool. Just, just felt like just going like in the shade, okay. did you? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> She's worked out that the guests are a constant source of caresses. Hey. <laughs> Cheeky, where's your sister? Hey, where's your sister? Come on. You got the autumn colour memo from Philip, did you? Oh, really? Yeah, he's no. decided it's autumn, that's why he's oh. in those colours. And look, you're so, oh, yes. on trend. Of course. <laughs> Just for his birthday. <laughs> Amra, I hope this isn't indicative of a new hobby on your part. <laughs> You're doing this to a lot of the rooms now. He's doing a good job, isn't he? Keeping everything tidy, always, always. always. And now things are moving out here because they're coming up to this chimney. What's the problem? The uh, lift, the cherry too, picker. The cherry picker is too small. Oh, they are no. missing a meter and a half. Oh. So they need to rent a bigger one. Yes. That's so annoying. Um, Nothing can be done. They can't get to either chimney. It's short by one and a half meters, the cherry picker. So frustrating. I'll explain out here. There, they actually, on the taller roof, they nearly made it. They were so, so close. So I thought it would be easy on this one, but it's the fact that this one is set back so far from the front wall and it's hard for the cherry picker to make that lean across. And so this one, they were even further away from. Oh, so near yet so far, we had everyone here and now they have to go hire another cherry picker and they have no idea where the next slot in their schedule is. So I don't know when we'll get them installed.
Well, I mean, I like that grape, but I'm very sad to see it going back. <laughs> it's aborted. What? Aborted. They can't do it. They can't reach either of the chimneys, and they've just said that's the biggest uh, cherry picker that you can get in the local area. And they can't get to either of the chimneys, so they can't put the flues down. So they can't do the fires. The one in the Marquis? Can't get to it either. So now we have to think about scaffolding or see if there's any bigger cherry pickers. Oh, that's so heavy. Right, it's going to be there a little bit longer. Two of the log burners that we were having installed are going off this chimney. One is going off the Marquis chimney, which means that none of the log burners can be installed at the moment. We've come up to the attic because we realised there are actually three tubes going up that massive chimney from the entrance hall. Je crois qu'avant ici ils avaient des des poils à fuel. Oui, mais je pense que c'est pour ça. Oui. Parce que ce tubage non plus là n'est pas adapté. Mais ça c'est ça c'est bien avant nous. C'est pas grave. Mais là il y a pas de poils à mettre. Non ici il y a pas de poils. Okay, all a bit stunned. We just realised there's four fireplaces on one chimney. This is now up in the attic. Uh, we're in the attic cinema room. Yet another one. Il est là. Non. C'est si le tubage il est là. Exact. Donc du coup l'autre il est où? Ben c'est ça. Oh yeah, we're missing one. We don't know where the fourth one is. Il y avait au moins deux qui passent dans là dans un seul. We're beginning to realize that the interior of that chimney is a complete mess and a mystery and we have no idea where any of the flues are going. So here we've realized that all of the chimneys are in such a confusion and a state that we're worried about the one that we use regularly and obviously we get them swept every year. But we're beginning to think that even if they were being swept, they might not be that safe. That is what we're trying to discover now. Here in the winter salon, where we spend every Christmas and every winter with the fire on. I've come up to my room quite demoralized because it's so typical. We get everything ready for a job. We've got all the flue pipes, we've got all the log burners. We're good to go at our end. And then they arrive with their cherry picker. See, it's not big enough. Hire another cherry picker. It's still not big enough. But then from the distance they can get to with that cherry picker, even though they can't get to the chimney, they can look into the chimney, they realize that there's a much bigger job. And in fact, we're probably going to need scaffolding, certainly a bigger cherry picker. And we might have to completely rethink the way the chimneys are used. Because in some areas, we have four fireplaces going through three flues in one chimney and you can't have two fireplaces through the same flue, so that's illegal. We haven't used them, thank goodness, but I could easily have lit them after just sweeping them because obviously we didn't know. It's gonna be a very big job now. Okay, I've calmed down, I'm putting it all behind me. We will source a bigger cherry picker. We will get all of the log burners installed. I just have to stay positive and I think lunch will help with that. So I'm going down to meet the others. There is some noodles and some There's noodles. noodles. This is superb. This is Thelma who's staying with us at the moment. She lives in Luxembourg. She's from the Philippines originally. And she's brought oh, right. us a takeaway all the way from Chateau Roux. Really? So, yeah, we can't go to the city. The city comes to us. Oh, what a welcome sight. Oh, all for me. <laughs> bon appétit, everybody. Bon appétit. Oh, very glamorous, Mommy. They knew. I'm not quite sure who they belong to. Oh. They were in my drawer. I can't remember buying them, but I must have. I mean, I'm not in the habit of pinching If things. anybody notices that these are their sunglasses, please write to us in the comments <laughs> below. <laughs> <laughs> what a treat. I must say, Tonton Stephen, you're providing an excellent service at lunch today. Thank you. I, that's from me. Lovely. Thank you very right. much. And you're not sharing that one? Yeah. Oh, what is that? <laughs> 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 to cut the cake. Ah. And will you be chopping the logs whilst you're in here for the winter? <laughs> we have found a moment of calm in what's been quite a stressful day. Let's face it, it is not going well on the heating front. So, Mummy and I have decided that we're going to come up to my room and watch Shadow. DIY on TV. We haven't seen any of the latest series yet, so we haven't even seen the Marquis Salon reveal on TV yet. Mama, you look adorable. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Looking forward Welcome. to watching it. 
You're excited, Mummy. Yes. I know, I can't believe we haven't seen it yet. I know. So to be able to watch the show in England, as I've explained before, I have to use a VPN. And that just masks where I am in the world. So it looks as though my computer or my TV is in England. Obviously, I'm sitting in France. And I'm really lucky because I've been using NordVPN for absolutely ages. And they've offered to sponsor this video with an ad. So I can now show you how incredibly easy it is to use NordVPN to watch British TV from abroad. So all I need to do is go to the NordVPN app and then choose the country that I want, which in this case is obviously the United Kingdom. And that is how quickly it connects. So as soon as it's connected, I can go to my Channel 4 app and then look up Chateau DIY. Oh, Mama. Today, one chateau owner takes on a demanding oh. historical renovation. As you can see, it's incredibly easy to use. I have the app already set up on my TV. I use an Amazon Fire Stick. I also have it on my computer and I have it on my phone. But I think for watching this, we're much more comfortable in bed. Absolutely. Yeah, this is perfect. But what I love the most is that, as you all know, we don't have very good internet here. And NordVPN has been confirmed to be the fastest VPN out there. And that makes a very, very big difference to us. I was using another one before, and when I switched, it got a lot better. We're going to spend the next hour watching this snuggled up in bed together. And if you also want to enjoy watching TV in other countries than the one you're in, then you can try NordVPN because they've given a great deal to all of my viewers, which is that you can get four months free if you go to NordVPN dot com forward slash chateau diaries and use the promo code chateau diaries and the great thing is it's completely risk-free if you change your mind they have a 30-day money-back guarantee so i hope you enjoy it as much as we are about to you are putting <gasps> heart and soul so, Bobby, before oh, just as we're putting it up one oh that's bringing back memories i've just had some really good news nathan has contacted and apparently there is a taller cherry picker in orleans now orleans is about two and a half hours away it's still far but it means it does exist we don't necessarily need to do scaffolding which would be an absolutely enormous job so that's very very good and on top of that there is the excitement that a group of us are going to Disneyland for Philip's birthday just as we did last year so it's becoming a bit of a La Land tradition and I think I think some of the others might have already gone and you Natty and Jared are holding the fort and uh, Andy and your mum and, and Percy, Percy, yeah, and the dogs, of course. Obviously the girls, yeah. They're going to become famous. They are, the stars. Oh. I'm really happy that when Jared has arrived, yes. his he actual saw, banner is out. I asked him if he saw it, if he had a good welcome seeing his, yeah. uh, his banner, and he said, oh, yeah, he saw it. Fantastic. Rosie, well, I'm going to go say hi. They're in the... Um... Mm. Great. We're missing Chloe here, but it is really lovely that someone new's arrived. Hi, Jared. Welcome back. Hi. Uh, did you see your banner as you arrived? Yeah, it looks great. It looks so good. Yeah, yeah I'm so sorry. We're like literally missing each other. We're rushing okay. off, yeah. but we'll be back uh, yeah. day after tomorrow. Have fun. Okay, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and settle in really well. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> This is it. We are finally leaving, as always, far later than we planned to. I don't know how we manage that every single time. The others will be laughing at us by the time we get there. Can't believe we finally arrived. It's gone midnight. Philip. Yes? So I just dropped my ear pods mm. and they're under the car next to ours. Right. And they're too far for me to reach. <laughs> the ear pods are over there. I can reach this first one. See, I'm going to be super helpful and get that one. Thank you. It's That's a kind of pleasure. Enough. That's just the other one over there. Why okay. Is it sticky. Doesn't matter. Don't question stickiness at a time like this. <laughs> Use the sticky emergency triangle and let's see if. Oh, yep, yeah, I think this is going to work. Look. As long as the car doesn't spit on me. Woohoo! You hero. It's been a long and fractious day. Actually a little bit peckish too. I could eat. Yeah. This is a glamorous evening. Perfect end to the day. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Back to the pizza. Cheers. Happy birthday, Philip. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. We've made it to the room and I will probably be asleep in approximately 30 seconds. My goodness knows I need my sleep. It's been a very, very big day. The next thing I know, I'll be opening my eyes and it'll be time to go and meet the others for breakfast. Oh, 
great and breezy, feeling much more positive this morning. Let's see if we can find the others. Look at this magnificent group of people. Oh, oh, someone's very, oh yeah, Tatinette and Stephen going. So if I'd come, they'd come. I know, they did come. You lured me in. I couldn't get them onto a roller coaster. It's very sad. I feel the same way, but look, look, we've got loads of other fun people you can play with all day. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Another classic shirt from Ricardo. Enjoy your day. <laughs> You'll be lovely. And I see you all in a month. We're going to miss you so much. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> no, it's lovely to be part of the team anyway. You take care and look after that beautiful girl. Yes. Hey? Yes. Love you. Take care. Bye. Sweetie, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, get this wagon rolling. Ah, oh, lovely lots. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I can't believe this. Wow. Not even a month. You got to that van in the nick of time. Oh my god. Bye bye. Bye. This is the first sight of Disney. It is happening. We have obviously come here for inspiration. This is exactly what La Land is going to look like once the renovations have been completed. Are you feeling well welcomed, Philip? and a fricandel and a waffle. We're off to a really healthy start. It's a balanced breakfast. We've come to fake France in France. I love it. Paris is literally around the corner. We're in still, fake France. That's still, that's still the guy from uh, Ratatouille. Ah, uh, yes. Is this literally the square? I think we're going to Ratatouille now. This is so fun. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. <laughs> Should we add rats with bottles of champagne to our fountain? Yes, 100%. Pretty good. I've realised for me it's maybe more about eating ridiculous food rather than the ride so I've moved on from the Alsace stall to have some sauerkraut so pickled cabbage and sausages I mean why wouldn't I want that first thing in the morning before roller coasters we've just realised it is exactly one year since we were all last together in Disney but we didn't come to the Ratatouille ride I'm very excited yeah because the yeah. Ratatouille kitchen you've decided is the La Lame kitchen do we want to say that <laughs> It could be the Lalanne kitchen if it has more copper. Oh, stop it, Philip. Really. <laughs> He's always trying to get more copper in the kitchen. The copper. We literally have exactly those chairs with the lions on top at Lalanne. Exactly those chairs. Exactly those cobwebs too. Wow, it's like being home. So this is La Land circa 2010. It's like... It's Just before like the vlogs. Our deco does gothic. Oh. Amory finished the library. <laughs> I don't see a hidden door yet. Yeah. We're scared. <laughs> There it is, Philip's favourite attraction, the Haunted Mansion. I just want to restore it. <laughs> they used to have lots of those like scattered around, but like gravestones, and they were really funny. Look at the little... We need wait, that, wait, that, no. Look, he started... That we need. The little stairs? No, the little... The, the pavilion? Yes. Okay. okay. That's very my birthday present to you. Are you going to let him tell you the history of the Haunted Mansion? I am. That's my birthday present to him. It's generous, I know. Last year, Philip memorably told Pat and I the entire backstory of the Haunted Mansion when we were here. The people who started mining from the mountain build this uh, mansion with the proceeds of that. Oh, there's the one he was just talking about. Love that one. I cannot believe you bought a book just to see the art. Yeah. yeah, the art of the because haunted of, mansion. There's not the one, just on the mansion, but this is why I bought it. Wow. What's the, well, let's see what the book is. The art of Disneyland Paris. What a day. Right. What I a birthday. Like I, needed this. I also birthday felt like birthday. the library. Happy birthday. The library. Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to you.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Philip. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Yay! Hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! 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 Thank you all for joining us for Philip's birthday and a huge thank you to my patrons who make stressful moments like the heating debacle today a lot less stressful than they would otherwise be. Today I'd like to say a special thank you to Sakura Dennis, Jason Doobie, Jackie Ellison, Kevin Fossum and Fifi Greenberg. Lots of love to all of you and see you all back at La Land on Thursday.